Hey guys, it's Fujimi here, and welcome back to Shinna Life. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to level up your Tilted Spirit fast. Specifically, your Gen 1 or Gen 2 Tilted Spirits. It doesn't really matter which, but I mainly put Gen 1 in the title just because it's the newest, and I know that's what people are going to be mostly looking for. It doesn't really matter which one it is. It could be either Gen 1 or Gen 2. It's the same way for each. I actually have done multiple of these before, but they were all way lower quality than this, and I just wanted to have something that was really higher quality to replace those older videos. Even though I don't have bacon here today, I figured this would be a good idea. This would be a good video to do, and a lot of people have been asking, where is this at? Because I already did a high-level fast, and it's doing very, very amazing. But people are like, alright, where's your remake of the how to level up your Toad Spirit fast? I got you. So, I actually have something that will help us test this out. So, if I was to go to my swim ability section, and I'll just scroll all the way up, you're going to see that I have Gen 2 and Gen 1. I have every Gen 2 Tailed Spirit except for 10. Does that mean I have the maxed? Heck no. The only one I got maxed is Core. I mean, I have some others kind of decently high level, but the only one I actually have maxed would be Core. Now, Gen 1, I've only managed to get Chu. I'm trying to get the Yin and Yang Core, which I've actually done spawn location videos on because I've seen them, but I haven't actually got one myself yet. Uh, but I do have Chu. Here. And I already have it up to level 172, which is decent. You know, it's nothing amazing. But basically, this is going to show you what is the best method to level up these Tilt Spirits. So, the first thing is going to be the absolute worst. Just one that you should steer clear of. I was looking for an example. You're going to see these blue quests. Or not even necessarily blue. They're star quests. You're going to see these star quests around the map. And if I was to click this right now, it's going to be like, oh, clean up the graffiti. It's going to give you such a little amount of XP. I don't think it's that much worth it. If you're just starting out like base rank, as you can see, I'm A1. You'd be like D1 and you've never played the game before. Maybe do a couple, but they're overall not the main way that you want to use at all. They're very inefficient. Do not use them unless you were just like just starting out. That is like obviously just the worst method. The next method would be these green quests. Now, these are actually pretty good, especially if you know what you're doing. You could have. Well, first of all, let me slow down a bit. As you can see, every single green quest is going to give you a quest to take out a certain group of people. So if I was to accept this right now, it's going to tell me to go all the way over there and defeat some Taijutsu students. Now you could do it this way, where you accept the quest and then you go out there and you fight them, right? I will mention that being in a Tilt Spear form does make you get XP faster. So that is just something you should know. If you're in the form, it will be getting XP as you're in it. But essentially what you would do is you'd go all the way over to the quest and you defeat it. Now, the other way would be if you was to just have a friend that was in the village and you did the green quest while he gets the quest. He'll grab the quest, you do the quest. And then it makes it really quick so that way you don't have to go back and forth. And as you can see, I just gained XP. But I will say another thing would be the more friends you have, the better in a way. Because you can have multiple friends all across the village collecting quests. Or you can have one person collecting a quest and while the other three are on different parts of the map trying to complete the quest so that's a really good way and another thing that i've also noticed if you have a very low level person accept the quest the higher levels can beat it and it's like a piece of cake because basically the missions scale to the level of the person who accepts them so if someone super low level accepts them it'll be like a piece of cake for someone that's even slightly higher level so that's just something to note. Now on to the next method. Now the next method is going to be these boss quests. I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel this mission. If I was to do this boss quest. Help, corrupt Nimbus ninjas have been hiding around these areas. Can you help me defeat them? This one is actually going to give you a boss quest. And essentially you would go all the way over to the boss and you would fight it and defeat it. And the boss quests are a little bit harder, but they do have a chance to drop something known as a companion. These are actually pretty useful, but I think you have to level them up and get XP. But essentially, you can get one of these many, many companions. This one's actually the glitched one that automatically completes. So if you see the forged Akuma one, for some reason it's glitched right now, and it automatically gives you a ton of levels, as you can see. That's like a really strange glitch that you should probably take advantage of. But yeah, that, that's just another way is these boss quests. They're not the most efficient, but they're pretty good, especially for Tailed Spirit XP. They used to be the best. But there is a new, better way now. While I was making this video, I've actually gotten up to my second tail. Boom, 4-2. Four, two. Form 2 of the Two Tailed Spirit. I got three tails now. It's pretty cool. Anyways, you're going to see the story mission. This is by far the best way that I actually do. Like this, I know there is some other ways that if you're like to try and get super complicated, but I didn't really want to make it too complicated. I wanted to come up with the most simple way of getting XP. Get a bunch of friends and do story missions. I'm telling you, it is way worth it. It gives you about five times more than what you would get in a freaking 
boss quest and it is just so much worth, more worth it for xp it's quick you have one guy sitting here doing like clicking the quest when everybody's done and then have three people actually doing the quest and it'll go so fast and it's going to give you a ton of xp this is the main method do not disregard this method like it is actually really good and if you were to try and make like a certain loadout for each person to make it super quick you could really fly through this one tip I will say is if you're in a tailed spirit with six paths, which I know this isn't really helpful for you leveling it up, but if your friend is high level and he has a high level tailed spirit, he can hit the Z button and it'll turn him into a spirit mode and it will allow him to, even while the cutscene is slowing down and not allowing you to move, your tailed spirit can move, making it a lot faster to get to the next area and already be taking out the next load of people. So that's just a tip that I always use. It makes things just a little bit faster and a little bit goes a long way. Anyways, on to the next method. The next method is going to be these logs right here. You can auto-click overnight. I was told that you can now do this. You can auto-click. But it, huh? What? Is it? Is that not a thing? Is that not a thing? I'm so confused. I think I might have did the command wrong. Either way, you're supposed to be able to do a command that allows you to auto-click automatically. But I don't recommend doing that because it won't work overnight. It'll actually disconnect you on its own. Because if you're not clicking on your screen, Roblox will automatically disconnect you. So don't... I would not recommend this. I would recommend looking up online, auto clicker for free, download that, and then just start auto clicking overnight. It's really simple. You click one button and it'll auto click that log overnight. And it'll give you a ton of Tailed Spirit XP. I know because I've done it before and it's helped me max out, um, I believe it was Rabbits at the time. Was it Rabbit? No, no, it was actually my uh, Bloodline. That's right. I was trying to level up a Bloodline. It helps out a lot. I mean, if you just don't have the time or you just want to grind a little bit more XP while you're gone. It's a really good way because you're not even there and your computer's just doing all the work for you. So by the time you get back, you've gained hundreds of levels easy. A lot of people would argue it's the best method. I don't think it is because it's not the quickest method. It's just a way to do while uh, you're sleeping or something or eating. Now, of course, there are tons of glitches that are always coming and going in Shindo. And a lot of people are going to say that's the best method or there, there's like all these different methods that you can come up with. And that's because Shindo is a very diverse game. But some of those won't always stay around forever, where this will, and that's why I always conclude these in the tutorial. Now, if you want glitches and stuff like that, you can go search on your own, but this is just the main way to do it. This is how you're meant to do it, and that's how I've always done. You can see how far I've gotten. I've done, like, literally everything just from these quests. I'm A1. I could have went higher. I've got maxed out core Tailed Spirit, most of these Tailed Spirits in Gen 2. I mean, I'm just saying, that, that's, like, the main way to level up your Tailed Spirits. You're welcome. And there's still a couple more ways I'll go over, even though they're not the best. So if we were to go ahead and travel and hit main menu, this is going to take us to where you can find a bunch more ways to get XP. Okay, so now that we're at the main menu, you can hit the down arrow once, and you're going to see game modes. If you were to click game modes, you're going to see all these many different game modes that all have their own specific purposes. Now, the ones we're focusing on today, are, well, mainly we're going to be talking about war. I've said this before. War is a way that you can get tintails, spirits for your akumas, and many other various things it's just basically something where you fight waves of enemies and you try and get as far as you can so it does have rewards but in terms of xp it's really not that great in my opinion for xp it's just something that's a bonus it's not actually the primary gain here if you're looking if you're just looking for purely xp this is not the best way but if you're looking for a little bit of xp and a lot of rewards war is the way to go another way would be dungeons which allows you to fight enemies the same exact way and you get to progress i will show that right now you get to progress and you can actually unlock game passes, bloodlines, spins, and more. It is something that actually has just dropped. I wish I would have said that in my last How to Level Up Fast video, but I don't actually think this is that good of a method. I haven't really tried it yet, but I don't think it's nearly as good as just doing the store missions. I have not actually tried this yet when it comes to XP grinding, but I'm sure that it does pretty well. I've seen some videos. I think you can get some XP out of this. And I believe that is all of the ways, except for there are event bosses that you can technically find and get XP from, but it's not like anything crazy. So I would just say, don't even really worry about those. Only ones you really want to worry about are just the story missions, maybe war mode, and maybe the boss quest. Those are going to be your main ways. And also clicking the log AFK overnight, if that's something that you want to do. But that's going to be all of the methods for this video. That's that's basically it. And if you have your own special method, be sure to leave a comment letting me know and others know because it helps others out and it helps me out because, I mean, I could definitely use those methods. Please do. And, uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. And, yeah, fusion to me.
Signing out.